Do you have fun, Jasper? Yeah? Again, oh, it's easy. Puppy? <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Ching. More presents? Wow, anyone would think it was Christmas. Again. Again. And then the boys playing with the marbles. You're going to say hello to Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Dexter, can you do cheese? Jasper, do you like Dexter's helmet? Cheese! Mm. Oh. You know one of the best things this Christmas, I think, has been the fact that I really feel that we are approaching that EV tipping point. I mean, maybe not like literally in the next couple of days, but certainly within the next few years, I think we're going to really get to the point where it's obvious that EVs are the future and all manufacturers start to quickly move into full-on EV development and sale mode because otherwise they're not going to survive. Indications like 350 kilowatt charging from Tesla and CCS as well, Porsche, Audi, BMW, Mercedes, all committing to long-range EVs. Long-range EVs coming on the market in the next year or two. It's all incredibly exciting. Proper roast potatoes. Oh, yeah. Uh, they were nice. We had the healthier option potatoes on the other Christmas day and I'm not not big into the healthy option. Look, it's a, it's a petrol pump, Jasper. Petrol pump is like an old-fashioned quick charger. That was a yummy meal. And now I'm back to wearing silly Christmas cracker hats. I'm quite sure that a major EV tipping point is on the way. I think once there are relatively cheap, relatively long-range EVs, I think the charging infrastructure is going to really come together. I think the R&D is going to really push the boundaries of quick charging, of wow. range. It's extremely exciting because once we pass that tipping point, once it's obvious to 90% of the population that EVs really are the future of personal transportation and it's a better future than what we have at the moment. I actually think it's going to go really quickly. I've always thought it would go really quickly once it hits that tipping point. People say, oh, it's going to take 2030, 2040 before a substantial proportion of new vehicles are EVs. I think it could be 2020. I think 10% of new cars being EVs by 2020 is doable. Certainly by 2025, I think it could be 30, 40% of new vehicles. And by that point, I think it's almost certainly going to just accelerate to the point where almost nobody buys a petrol or diesel car. A bit like with smartphones. At first, they were just a luxury item that a few people had. Then that tipping point was reached with the advent of the original iPhone. And now, virtually nobody buys a non-smartphone, at least certainly in, in first world countries. They're, they're almost unheard of. They, they exist, but in tiny numbers. And I think that's where it's headed for petrol and diesel, hopefully. And that would be an awesome Christmas present. That's the Christmas present that I want Santa to deliver me next year. Yeah, right, Mikey. He's had an amazing day because he got a sort of multi-story car park thing from his grandma and grandpa. Wow, I mean, what small child doesn't want a car park? Does your car park have electric charging bays? They're there. Where are they? Here? Two, three, go. crazy to think, but Jasper basically doesn't know what a petrol pump is. I, his first journey in, in a car was in a Nissan Leaf, and I'd say 90-95% of all his journeys since then have been in my Tesla, so yeah. Petrol pump? Petrol what? That's how it should be for all children, and quite soon, I'm sure it will be. I think I better join them. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, all these Christmas dinners. I'm gonna have to do some serious exercise in the new year.
What I was just going to quickly talk about, with tipping points in particular, you see, when it comes to EVs and tipping points, I think we're basically, for, for a large part of the, the process of a normal growth curve with any new technology, what you wind up with is a sort of a flat bit at the beginning. You can barely tell it's increasing, but then as it starts to tick up, that's when it starts to really pick up speed, and then what happens next is almost always it catches people out. Goes through the roof, a whole bunch of incumbent manufacturers get kicked out of a given sector. I'm seriously thinking that EVs are basically at that point now. I think 2017 could be the year. Fantastic, well we've all had an absolutely amazing day again. I mean, we're so spoiled this year. I think we're gonna have in total three Christmases which has got to be some kind of a record. Anyway, I hope you're all having a great time too and that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. You can't get up. You can't get up? What, are you totally incapacitated? Over Christmas. Have you been over Christmas? Is it time? For, is it time to seriously evaluate your um, over Christmasiness? No. Hmm.